Welcome back to turn 32 of uh, Let's Play Birthright uh, the Gorgon's Alliance. I have in fact given up on yes, getting rid of this bug where these spiders and the Gorgon's Crown, Crown's troops here in Fallen Rock. Um, uh, in the last episode I talked about uh, using some sort of editor or something to um, get rid of that bug. Um, because this freaking army just it won't move and I can't engage it for some reason. Um, but uh, unfortunately since I'm playing this in DOSBox I've only got a patch 1.3 installed and I was really hoping to use the 1.4 patch to uh, um, which allows you to uh, DM control other realms. I was uh, planning on actually taking control of the Gorgon just for one turn just to move that uh, army out of there, but apparently uh, that's part of the 1.4 patch and uh, it can't be done with a 1.3 patch and what's worse, uh, I tried to load up this game in uh, in a uh, in a 1.4 patched version of, of Birthright that I've got running on uh, an XP computer and it absolutely wouldn't <laughs> wouldn't let me uh, still wouldn't let me do the uh, DM control thing apparently because it's I guess just conflicts between two different patches and so on so that didn't work uh, I do have a bit of a scenario editor that I was also talking about using but the thing about that is that if I it's more of a scenario editor than, than a save game editor so if I use that, the turn count is going to reset to turn one, and sort of all, all the provinces and, and armies and stuff stay the same. But the turn count is going to reset to one, and the Gorgon's going to start recruiting a new ally and stuff. And part of the what keeps me interested here is that I still don't know where <laughs> the Gorgon's ally is. So don't want to do that either. So I just we're just going to have to accept that there's sort of a gorilla army of gorgons in here that just stuck in in the mountains uh bogging down this army I've got in here. Um I got rid of the most of the goblins in that army uh cuz there's no point paying for them really. And so now I'm done with an army that it cost me maybe 10 gold bars a turn, and considering I've had a surplus of about 100 gold bars on this turn alone, no, there's, that shouldn't be a big problem. It does mean I should, I will need to raise yet more troops to sort of, yeah, since part of my army is bogged down anyway. So, uh, we'll, we'll raise uh, once more the, uh, it will need some knights and some, uh, Elite infantry or something. I like knights. Uh, they're expensive, but somewhat useful at least. Uh, I need five knights if that's going to work. A couple of elite infantry, perhaps. Yeah, perhaps. Uh, yeah, right. Fair enough. And then obviously some archers. And we'll keep raising an Alaroin, so we've got. Don't need to move people too much around, but we will probably need to move them around a bit. So some archers in, say, Southmore, and oh, can I raise archers in Lorraine, for example? So yeah, Lorraine has got archers. You're bidding, my liege. As you wish, Regent. Your Highness? Of course, Your Highness. You're bidding, my liege. Uh, I like to have the knights at the sort of top here. You're bidding, my liege. I hear and obey. Bidding, my liege. Shall be done. Highness? As you wish. You're bidding, my liege. See. One, two, three, four, five, six. Join up Your with Highness? these archers. As you wish, Regent. Yes, Regent. Shall be done. Your one, two, Highness? three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. This is one sort of legion of troops ready to burst into action. Your wish is my command. I'll keep them in there for now because I'm not quite ready to launch my uh, attacks yet. Um, 
my next move will have to do will have to consist of somehow bothering the gorgon and oh yeah I know exactly what because I have created a source haven't I in the gorgon's own capital of Skull Scytherak right so the only question I, I need a lead line to that source so I can uh, cast spells there and the only question is uh, where to build that lead line from really um Where else do I have sources? I've got a source in Hepston Maze. I've got a s yeah, I've got a source in Oryx Head, but that's yes, not actually did. my province, is it? Uh, so I could still, I might still have to fight to keep that. Um, I c obviously, I could. Use a layerly line down from uh, a province, a source in a province that I don't own. It's just you may have noticed that other regions tend to try and um, contest that if they can. Can I? No, Northmore has so many lee lines already, it's sort of used up. <laughs> uh, yeah. What about my source in the spider fell? Well, that's going to be very, very far, probably. Let's see, from. Orgely line from spider fell into Calcetherek. Ah! I was a pretty surefire way of doing it, but it's going to cost me an awful lot of gold and regency. That might be worth it though. Um, I mean, where else can I lay it from? Perhaps Demise is a nice source, but. What about the. Um, let's see. Do I have a source in, say, Crushing Rock? No, uh, yes, that I do. Yeah, but Crushing Rock is not the best place for it to build sources because it's only got a magic level of two. Shadow Hills also isn't Lost Realm. Saturn Hills, Brush Fire, Peril Trees. Hmm. Oryx Head would be a nice choice if I had confidence in Dozone, but I don't. So I'm going to actually lay the lead line from Spiderfell anyway, and damn the costs. Spider fell, spider fell, spider fell. There we are. Succeeded. Like that. My cloud is assassinating. Okay, he declared war on Dozone, so he's probably turn. planning on attacking Org's head then. Well, but now that we've got our ley line effective, we can stop messing with them. We invested that much gold and regency in it, we should use it. So I'm going to use uh, alias again to this time cast in Calcetra itself. And it's going to spill over into. Huh. 
But I definitely know I'm gonna ward. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong. I wanted Alias not to forge a Lee line, but to cast a spell. Cast Realm spell and cast Hytherak. And he's going to ward that, and he's going to ward also Seer's Hold. And then the final question is, do I ward Plumbergo to stop the Gorgon in his tracks? Yeah, why not, actually? The alternative is to ward Sage's Fen. I could do both. I could actually do both. Wow. I can ward a lot of prophecies if I want to. It's just sort of... Uh, it's going to spend sort of unnecessary amounts of, of Regency and gold, perhaps. But... Uh, yeah, let's make him waste his... Ah, right, yeah. I don't want to spend that much Regency on it, do I? How about this? Poof. The Gorgon himself is trapped. Also, I've now split his realm in two um because this whole area here is now warded this one's not warded by me obviously he can still attack oryx head with these forces and whatever he's got in here so i'm going to need my army in yes, there to do. sort of hold firm um we're getting ready now for basically messing with them but he's still got sources in his lands and is good at casting all sorts of annoying spells. So I think. Let's see, do we have got any good priests? No. No good lieutenants can be hired right at this moment. So what I'll do is I'll instead continue what I've been working on earlier, which is to contest his sources in. Let's see. Or should I maybe... Actually, I'm going to be real bossed to him now, and... Um... You're bidding. I'm going to downrightly clear war on him. Declare war back. I'm not swearing felty to anyone. It's your turn. Good, they declare war, but they didn't do an awful lot. Next thing. Yes, I'm going to risk actually my regent. Walking straight into pelt, yes, attacking in there. Um, I'm not really Working going to attack money. Sage's Fen, but I'm going to send an, an archer just to try and pin his Working troops down money. in there. Um, You're bidding, my liege. Of course, your highness. Similarly, bidding, my liege. let's try and pin his troops in Abattoir. And... Yes, I region, obviously need a force uh, bidding, to try and hold down and be done. at least sort of make sure I have someone to retreat back to if things start going horribly wrong 
The reason why I wanted to attack Pelt is he's actually... No, he's completed his castle in there. My liege. This is the one that's still under construction. Crappity crap. But I can't really send an, a major an armor with a lot of... Nope. What I can do, though, I just raised a full legion of knights and stuff Your in here, highness. didn't I? Quick march. Of course, my liege. Oh, for heaven's sakes, I forgot I'm not allied to L and E. That was incredibly stupid of me. <laughs> I wanted to attack Ambator. Before he can finish his castle. Yes, Regent? Oh well, I'll have to wait another turn then. What I need to do now is make sure he doesn't come suddenly start casting some sort of terrible spell in there and, and kill off my region or something. So I'm going to contest in Pelt. The golden source in there. I have to invest the regency necessary to get it to work. And boom. Succeeded. Did not succeed. I kept my temple. Still not swearing fealty to you, Ilian. Temple's being contested. Succeeded. Well, I don't really want to anger Ellen either. There's no need to, so. If I. Do not command. Hopefully they're smart enough to just pull out. Yeah, they ran from the field of battle. Good. And yep, it's my regent against a bunch of mercenaries and a few skellies. Some gnolls. A lot of gnolls actually in pelt. Consider it done, your command. Consider so I'll just, it done. I'll deploy my, uh... Man? Consider it done. Your command? I'll get on that right I'll away. I'll deploy my, basically my, uh... Your priest is ready, yes? Your priest is Casters. Your majesty? Yes, I'll do it soon. Archers at the ready. Your, your man? priest is ready. Man. Your ready your man. Well, that your one wasn't too bad. That was bad. My priests waste their skeletons, of course. Wizard ready, your highness. Yes. Wizard ready, your highness. What? It's not like it. Okay, let's get those archers out of there before they're completely destroyed. Uh, didn't I have enough priest? Yeah, I do down there. There's no point for that priest to stand there and keep getting shot at by... Uh... Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Fall back! Your order? Okay, well I can always fire a magic missile or something. Obviously that's never gonna work on skeletons, but I was kinda waiting for those skeletons to move in there where my priest can reach them with some turn on dead spells like that. 
Much better. Much, much better. Right. Yeah, you're pretty much out of spells, so... The high wizard can at least blast some gnolls and stuff. See if our regent... Yeah, magic missiles worked for once. Uh, well, you know... They don't have an awful lot of troops on the field now, do they? Uh, how many do they have? 33. Regent? I'll get on that right away. Yes? I'll get on Just that right away. Just try and field troops right until... Yeah. Okay, obviously I'm... <laughs> this is just a simple retreat. I just moved that archer in there just to... Keep the army bogged down. Same here. Your bidding, my Majesty, niece. as Chamberlain, my task is to inform and advise you of the political and economic state of your realm. Oh, what do you know? Foul news, my master. Recent successes by your opponents oh. have slowed our progress. Sorry about that. Yeah, that was a nuisance. Anyway, disgusted with his ally, the Gorgon has destroyed his lieutenant and is now in personal control of his forces. The twisted mass that is his army trembles with fear and rage under the heel of their dark master. The fetid mental caress drives many to the brink of insanity with a lust for battle. All of Anweir will be plunged into a hellish dark age unless the Gorgon can be thwarted. So, finally, the Gorgon's ally reveal itself, apparently. It's okay. It's fairly clear where the Gorgon's ally is. It's here, isn't it? So it's turning. Right on my doorstep, eh? Interesting move. I'm now locked down in a, what, three front wall with a Gorgon? There, there, and here. <laughs> Oops. Okay, let's see. Um, What's my tax levels? I, I'll st I'm still earning money. And I've got decent domain power now, somehow. Okay. So, but that obviously will be... Uh, for the next turn, I will... I suppose try and fight back against the Gorgon. Uh, Gorgon's ally. Uh, I'll be locked in a three-front war against <laughs> one enemy. <laughs> so, but that'll be for t next turn. It's now turn 33, and I hope you'll join me for that. And uh, until then, you'll live and let live. Oops. There we go.